In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a flower top pencil cover or grip, or you can use it on crochet hooks or loom hooks. I had made a video about this back in October, but when I did, I had the loom set up in a rectangular shape. So this time, I am going to show you how to do it with your loom set up with the pins in a staggered position. So you will need to choose your colors and I've chosen six different colors. I have rainbow colors that I'm going to use for this pencil cover or grip. Now if you're going to make a cover that's going to go the whole length of your pencil, you'll probably need about 150 bands. If you're only making a grip, you'll need maybe half of that or even less. Depends on how long you want to make it. And I want the pins as I said before, in a staggered position, so they are not in line with one another. And I have the arrows facing towards me. And we're going to be working with just six pins in a triangle shape. I'm going to start on the right hand row, on the third pin in from the end of the loom. And my first band is going to stretch diagonally and to the left. And it is going to twist. And from here we're going diagonally up and to the left again and twist. And now from here we're going diagonally to the right and up again back into that middle row. And then here, from here you're going diagonally to the right again. You're always twisting this bottom layer. And then from here you're going to come back down and twist. And then one more time. So you can see we've made this triangle shape. And now I want to add a second layer. So I'm going to repeat that same pattern from the right hand side. I'm going diagonally into the middle. I'm going to stick with red again. I'm just going to follow this triangle around. And now I have two layers on, so I want to remove the bottom layer. So I'll start on the same pin here that I began on. I want to grab the bottom two bands. You can either do them one at a time, pull them out and over the top, or you can do them both at once. So I'm going to switch hooks here, because I am going to grab them two at a time. You're always pulling from the outside and over the top and into the middle. And now again here we're grabbing the bottom two bands, pulling them out and over. And now on this pin here, this is going to be the hardest one to grab the bands on because you can't go down inside, you have to do it from the outside. So what you want to do is take your hook and push back on these upper bands so you can get a better view. And then from the outside here, you're grabbing the bottom two bands and pulling them over the top and into the middle. And now flip to the other side here. You're grabbing from the outside, from the far right side. You're grabbing these two bands and moving them into the center. And then moving down here, we have two more. Again, the bottom two are coming over the top and into the middle. And now you're going to push this all down. And now I am going to start my next color. So again, I'm starting on this same pin and I'm just going to follow around the triangle. And you always want to push the lower bands down so you have room to add these upper bands. And now I want to remove the bottom layer again. So I want these two bottom red to come off. I'm pulling them from the outside over the top and into the middle. And then I'll just work my way around. Again, this pin here in the center is going to be the hardest to grab. You can't go on the inside. You have to do it from the outside. So if you put your hook to the side, 
push back on these upper bands with the back of your hook. You can get a clear view. You want to grab these two red bands from the side and pull them out and over the top. Then flip to the outside here, grabbing the two red, moving them over, and then finally the two last red on this pin and pulling them into the middle. And then you want to push all of this down. And now I'm going to do a second layer of orange. So again, I'm starting on that same pin. And I'm just going around the triangle. And back to the start. And now again, I want you to remove that bottom layer. It's going to be the two bands at once or one at a time, whatever you feel comfortable with. And again, you're always working from the outside in. Now we have the center pin again. You're going to push back on these upper bands. Grab the lower two orange from the side and pull over the top. Flip to the other side. And continue around. And now push this down. Now with a rainbow loom, the pins are open, so you can have your bracelet grow down through this open area. But if you're working with a loom that is not a rainbow loom, you're going to have to get your bracelet to work its way out through the side and in between two pins. So as it gets a little bit longer, I will show you how to do that. For right now, I'm going to switch to yellow, again starting on the same pin. Again, you need to push these down if they're too high up on the pin, just so you have room to add more. And now I want the bottom two bands, which are orange right now, to come out and over the top into the middle. And on the center pin, I'm pushing back with my hook, grabbing these two orange bands from the side and pulling them into the middle. And now flip to the outside here. And then we're going to push this down. And so now what I want to happen is I want this to grow out in between the pins. So I'm just going to take my hook and as I said, you're going to have to force this to grow out. It's going to be a little tough to get it started. And now I'm going to do another layer of yellow. And then again, I'm going to remove the bottom two bands. And here in the center, pushing back, grabbing these two from the side, flipping to the outside. And pushing this all down. And again, you want to try and get it to come out. Now this is going to be a little bit harder to grab because we have this 
this cover growing out through, but you just want to move that to the side, grab these two yellow, and pull it over the top. Again, you're pushing down, and then pulling this out as well as you're doing that. So now you can see it's going to be a lot easier to grab and pull forward. So I'm just going to continue on like this. I'll do another layer of green, then two layers of blue, and two of purple. When you have your pencil cover or grip to the length that you'd like it, what you're going to do is start on this pin on the right hand side. There should be two bands on all of the pins. We're going to take these two bands, get them on the hook, and move them diagonally into that middle row. Make sure that they both get on. So now there's going to be four bands on that pin. And what you're going to do is reach your hook down through the middle, push back on those top two pins, grab the bottom two, pull them out, and move them over diagonally to the left. Now again, you're reaching your hook down through the middle, pushing back on those top two, grabbing the bottom two and releasing them. Now we're going to move them back down here into the middle. We're just working our way around the triangle. Again, you're just worrying about the bottom two bands now. So you kind of have to push your hook out to the side so you can see what you're doing. Push back on these upper bands. Grab these bottom two and move them diagonally to the right. Again, go down through the middle, push back on the top two. You can go out to the side here, grab the bottom two, and move them down. And now finally, there's four bands on that pin. And again, you're going down through the middle, pushing back on the top two bands, and grabbing those bottom two, and pulling them out. So now you should have two bands on your hook. They're going to be the only loose bands right now. We can remove this. And so you can see I just made a shorter one. So this would be a grip. It's not going to be long enough to cover the whole pencil. And on this one side where we started, you can see the flower shape. It's a little bit bent out of shape because we had to pull it to get it to come out in between the pins, but if you just play around with it a minute, you can fluff it up and it'll have this flower shape. And now on the other end, we have these two loose bands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an additional band of that same color and I'm going to get it on my hook and slide these two loose ends through. And now I want to take this other end and put it back on my hook. I'm going to pull one end through the other and make a slip knot. I'm going to make it nice and tight. And so now I have this loop that I want to hide. So what I'm going to do is just take some of these bands, some of these purple bands that are on the next part over, if you picture the circle here, and I'm just going to slide this loop through and pull, and I'm just going to keep doing that, working my way around here. Just grab a couple more bands here, and take the loop, again, slide it through. And maybe one more time here, pick up a couple bands and take the loop and again slide it through. So now it should be pretty well hidden and it shouldn't come apart there. So now you can take your pencil and you can just slide this on and it should be pretty loose to get on since we used six bands on each layer. It's not as tight as some of the other grips. And you can see we have this flower on the one end. And then on the other end, it should be nice and solid. It shouldn't come off. And so that way, as you're sharpening your pencil, you can just move it up. 
and then as your pencil gets down and you need to get a new one you just slide it off and put your new pencil in and here is another flower top pencil cover that I made this one I had made a while back and you can see this one covers the whole length of the pencil and it has that same flower design at the top so I hope that everybody enjoyed this updated version you can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest creations you can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thank you!